Hi, kindergarten friends. This is Mrs. Salyers, and I'm here today to walk you through another um, lesson for our, our Eureka Math. There are a couple pages in your packet that will go along with this lesson. <clears throat> we're basically going to take what we've been doing um, with the teen numbers and place values, and now we're going to put that into number bonds. We haven't had number bonds for a while, so this should um, hopefully help you to make that page an easy thing to do. So let me get our PowerPoint started here. And then that way we can walk through some practice. So as I said, this is all about number bonds for the teen numbers. And this is module five in our math and it's lesson seven. So Gregory drew some smiley faces. He drew 10 and then he drew five more. And so I drew those out here on our page. And then we can take what we've been doing and we can hide that zero. We have our 10 and we have five. 10, five, we hide the zero. And now we see the number that we know as 15. So we can take that and put it into a number bond. Now I chose to use some M&Ms as my counters for my number bond. If you want to practice, you can use some cereal, some pasta, anything small, and you can just draw a number bond on a piece of paper or if you have your own whiteboard. So here we see the same thing, Gregory smiley faces. We see the group of 10 that are purple, and we see the group of five that are blue. But our number bond isn't complete because this is the whole circle, all of them together we have the two parts. So if we think back to what we just saw, what were the two parts? Well, that's when we have to put in the 10 and the five. 10 and five are the same as the 15 that are in the top. So we can put our hide zero together and there we have that 15. It's all the same. 15 is the same as the 10 and the five and I can switch it up. I can put the two parts. See, now if you count them carefully, I do have 10 in the purple and I do have five. But again, our number bond isn't complete because those are the two parts. I put them together and I have the number 15. And I can switch everything out and put it all into number form. 15 is my whole number and it is the same as 10, five. 10, five is the same as 15. So now I can do a couple more examples. All right, so count carefully. I'll give you a hint. Every time my purple is gonna be my 10. So here's 10 and three. I'm gonna fill in my number bond at the bottom with actual numbers, 10, three, and then I can hide my zero and make it 13. Switching around the number bond, I put the 13 in the top, and now my 10, three is on the bottom, and I can swap everything out and show that 10, three pushes together and is the same as 13. Here's another example. So check out my purple. It's 10 again. I did two five groups, easy to count. My blue, you can count them carefully, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I have 10, nine. If I hide the zero and put that together, that is 19. I can switch my number bond around. I've got the 10 and the nine down here. And I can now put all my numbers together. 10, nine is the same as 19. One last example, I've got my 10 purple. How many do I have this time in blue? Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I fill in the bottom 10, seven. But when I hide that zero, it makes 17. If I put that back up in the top and put my two parts in the bottom, I have the 10 on one side, I have the seven on the other. They push together to make 17. If I swap them out, I can see the numbers. 10, seven 
is the same as 17. So what we're looking at here is pretty much just taking those two parts, the 10 and the, um, the other number, putting them in the bottom, pushing them together and hiding the zero, or taking them back apart. As you look through your page, you're going to see that it's going to have you mostly filling in the bottom. And I think there's a little bit of a pattern as you look at the page. So good luck if you need any help. Um, make sure you check in with your teacher or with um, any of us really that we're happy to help. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you some more. Bye.